Oh, that's fucking annoying. I'm falling gray. By the way, hey, for those on YouTube, this is part two of being tall is overrated. Cause my stream crashed. I don't know what the fuck happened on phone them, but you feel me? This is where the fuck we left off at. It's still the same. You feel me? It ain't the same vibe no more, but it's still the same day. It just I had to. This is part two of it though. I don't know what the fuck happened though. My shit fucking crashed. I don't know what the fuck going on. But yeah, anyway. It just is what it is. If I tell I don't know her I'm what six the feet fuck just happened. And you tell her that you're five, sixteen, I'm still gonna walk away with the benefit of the doubt. Just true. because they don't like to hear that five. Yeah, it's the true. The first thing that sucks about being tall is the I don't know damn what the back fuck pains. The amount of back pain that I go through at 19 years old has me not wanting to even make so it to bad 40. For you, guy. When G Grimy made Stressed that video about school desks, I felt that Why did my shit crash, though? What the because fuck Because everyone is agrees that those desks are uncomfortable. But try sitting in those desks when you're six feet tall plus. It's simply murder. Y'all be so attracted to tall people until their backs elevate past their heads. And I don't care how many people sure. complain about being short. Man, them hunchback motherfuckers that be in that knees like these. Before you quote me dead, being built like Mr. Crocker. Anywhere huh. you go, it feels like no seats are ever made for you. Which brings us into the next thing. If I'm in a car, Yo, I'm, I'm the tallest mad person there. Why did my shit Give me crash, that front seat. Man. I'm tired Ew. of having to argue with pipsqueaks that I need more leg room than the average person. Oh, what you mean you need leg room? I think you were just fine. We're the same height. Nigga, no, we're not. Look at yourself. And I hate when you get in like an Uber or something hey, yo, where legs, someone's like already sitting in the front. And then you have that fucktard that decides to have his seat <laughs> pushed all the way back to oh, the point where there's literally no space Damn, why the legs. fuck did my stream out to crash, boy? Like Damn. I'm earth to you back here. Then when I try to rearrange myself to annoying. get comfortable, it's, oh, oh, you can't put your feet on my seat. Well, unless you want them on your fucking shoulders, move that goddamn seat forward. The other thing I despise about being tall is the unwanted attention. If you're in a room and not everyone else is six feet and above, Everybody gonna be looking people at are just going to be staring at you. And by no means am I complaining, because once again, I'm only 6'2". I don't go through this situation that often. But I feel bad for those people that are, like, really tall, like NBA level tall, like wasted height tall. They stand out like a sore thumb. And some people might say, oh, the attention is good. What's wrong with getting attention for being tall? But man, it's one thing if you're getting attention for something nice or something that you didn't have to hear all your life, like, oh, you're so tall. But it's another thing when everyone is staring at you because they think the Georgetown Hoyas have a missing center. Oh, you're so <laughs> tall. <laughs> Thanks, I know. Oh, do you play basketball? <laughs> I used to, but not so much anymore. Hey, can you hand me that sugar on the top off? Nigga, no. Is what I wanted to say after being asked about three follow-up questions before being asked to do a task for somebody. But I do it anyway because I'm not an asshole. The other thing I hate about being tall is you really just can't dance. Especially if you're tall and skinny, like, you're going to be looking goofy as hell. Uh, that's you're true. Like For, you know, I, I hate tall, lengthy, skinny niggas. I be scrawny as fuck. They be... Like, they look like fucking skeletons, boy. They be super tall, but skinny as fuck, boy. It's longer, so in order to bend your knees, you have to bend them in, like, a 30 to 20 degree angle and <laughs> come all the way up in one motion. And I'm yeah. from New York. It's only right that once in a while. You gotta get a little sturdy. Especially if you're, like, at a party or, you know, you're just around your friends dancing, getting lit. And honestly, it's fun. I can do the moves. And then I look back at the videos later and... Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Tall niggas dance that always look weird as fuck. If you're not just a regular ass height, if you, like, super, like, tall, you look weird as fuck dancing, bro. Hey, frankly, it looks like I'm in pain. And it's not just dancing. Any sudden, fast movement that I do looks stiff as hell. I dance like a dumb cartoon character and I run like Nikola Jokic. And speaking of Nikola Jokic, the last thing that I hate about being tall. Everyone assumes that you're good at sports. Which, when you're well, actually good at it, isn't really much of an issue. More. But I was always okay to mediocre at sports, so I always hated going to the park and playing with a bunch of randoms that I don't know. Because it would always be some prick that wants to dribble the ball all day and thinks that because I'm tall, I'm going to go after all his goddamn rebounds. <laughs> Sorry, my man, but that is simply not how I play. No. I'm not about to be in the paint, boxing Why up the fuck did my stream out the crash? I'm so pissed. Yeah, Whoa, this shit just tall, blew blah, me. Blah, blah. I'm supposed to be able to jump high and get the rebounds, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, cool. But there is one attribute that these guys have that I simply just don't. 
they are horizontally tall. I won't even get a chance to get the rebound because when they throw all their weight on me, where the hell can I jump? True. Every dude that picks me up first is always immediately disappointed when they realize that I'm not about to be down there fighting a guy that looks like he just got out of the shower for rebounds. Like my guy, you just got to the park. How the hell are you already sweating bullets like that? I am not touching that nigga. And you got those old heads that be like, oh, you're taller than them. Just post them up and do a sky hook. Nigga, I'm not Kareem. You think this is the 70s or something? I don't remember the last time I attempted a sky hook. Then when I attempt to do what they asked me to do when I toss the ball over the backboard, they decide to get mad. Well, I'm sorry I couldn't live up to your expectations, Bill Russell. My favorite player is Kevin Durant. Hell, you ever seen Kevin Durant taking a oh sky hook? Oh my god, Durant. I don't play like Kevin Durant either, so. but you get the point. I hate having pressure and expectations put on me just because I'm tall. So you guys are probably thinking at this point, after about nine minutes of rambling and complaining about being tall, would you give it up to be short? And the answer is hell no. I just did this video because someone gave me the idea and I thought it'd be pretty funny. So shout out to X Factor for the idea. Comment down mm -hmm. below of anything you guys would potentially want to see. And yeah, the boy X Factor. Later. Oh fuck no, yo. You fun size motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to all my short niggas, man. You feel me? Ain't no wrong being short. Two boy skate boy P. Yeah, ring bow. Two boy skate boy P. Hey, 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 I'll play that. Oh, yeah. Oh, Fun and Gray. Love you, Vic. Boy, shout out to Sparky Dots on some shit, man. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. I'm so mad that my stream crashed, man. What the fuck? That shit just blew me, though, boy. Love you, Vic. I'm so mad, man. Why the fuck did my stream crash?